Hi, my little beautiful souls of Mystic Worlds 1111. I'm back with you, bringing dark into light. Okay, I'm going to jump into this. I actually was walking yesterday, walking and meditating, and I put this message out, but I decided not to upload it. I decided to actually sit down and do a reading instead of because there was so much distraction, so many people were like coming by and stuff. Um, but the download I had yesterday, you guys, was somebody ended up Somebody ended up walking out of their job, okay, up and just quitting their job. Uh, it could be a career or whatever, uh, their job, okay, just up and walked out. This individual that up and walked out of their job, up and quit, um, it could be, they could have got fired too, but I was here and walked out of their job, was not thinking clearly, okay, was not thinking of the chain of events that was going to occur after quitting this job, okay. This individual does have children, okay, I'm hearing this, this individual does have children, this individual has been struggling, um, uh, before this, this quitting this job, walking out, um, just up and walking out, was already struggling, was already going through something. They could have been going through a divorce, a separation, or, you know, just some kind of situation they're dealing with. And they weren't thinking clearly. Um, I'm also hearing this individual could be on some kind of, you know, substance, you know, drinking alcohol or drinking alcohol is the same drugs, um, medications, whatever, prescription medication, prescription drugs. And they weren't really thinking clearly. Okay. They weren't, they, they just, did okay they just just automatically just went walked out okay i'm here walked out i'm hearing that they did not like what their boss or their superior leader uh supervisor um or you know main man like i said manager um was asking them to do or wanting them to do i'm hearing that this individual um was asked to do something else that she or he does not normally do and she or he was just irritated, annoyed, and decided just to walk out, okay? This individual has resp had responsibilities, okay? Has, like I said, has children. And by this this walking out this chain of events is now going to even struggle more, okay? This person is going to have, it's going to be difficult to find a job um, with this walking out because it's going to be bad reference. I'm hearing bad reference. And also if this person is under the influence of some kind of substance or alcohol and it, um, is going to be living in regrets because now how are they going to pay their bills? If they're already struggling, how are they going to pay their bills? How are they going to support their children? How are they going to support themselves? How are they going to support, you know, their living and be provided for? Um, this isn't the situation where I say, okay, if you don't like your job, you know, quit your job and go something to purpose. This is something that was the devil. Okay. This is devil's energy. This is Satan energy, demon energy, dark energy. Um, having somebody just walk out and not think of the consequences or thinking of the chain events of happening afterwards. Okay. Not having anything lined up and why this isn't of like how this is different than what I, I've put out readings before saying, you know, if you don't like your job, then, you know, maybe, um, you may need to quit. You may need to just, you know, walk out, um, find something else. Cause you can be provided for this was like a fluke thing, like demonic thing. Okay. Straight up demonic. Um, because this person is under the influence of something and I'm hearing this, why this person also walked out of a job is because this person did not want to not just listen to the boss or supervi supervisor. It was this person wanted just to run the streets, okay? Going back to like being a teenager, early 20s, you know, college stuff, like being able to do what they want to do and not take responsibility for being an adult, for being a parent, you know, wanting to go back into the, I mean, it can be street life, um, hustle life, whatever it is. Uh, I'm hearing this, this individual possibly also could have, chosen a partner or a lover, a boyfriend, girlfriend over, um, this job, this, the family, the kids and stuff like that. And now is picking to be with this person and running, I, I keep hearing running the streets. Okay. Uh, chasing the high, I guess, chasing the dragon. Like you say, you know, chasing the dragon, chasing the high, uh, wanting to be free. They feel like they're being free, but still being an adult, you still have responsibilities. Okay. You're still living in the 3d world. Okay. Yes. Our, our consciousness is supposed to be stepping into 5d, but this is, um, you know, wanting to like be in a lower frequency, lower vibration. I am also hearing that there could be child protective service, which I said that all the stuff I said is in the reading yesterday, but it was distracting. It wasn't like, um, it was, yeah, it was distracting everything around. But this individual, too, that walked out of their job, CPS could possibly get involved. I am hearing this individual leaving kids home alone, okay? But, and these kids are, I'm hearing they're of age to be left home alone, okay? For two, three hours of age to be left home alone. But I'm hearing this these kids could be left alone um, throughout the night, okay? Throughout the night when the mom or dad out doing what they're wanting to do, running the streets, okay? Not just that, um... 
they're not getting the the love and affection that they deserve okay uh this this mother father is choosing lover partner whatever friends fam friends not, i'm not i'm hearing friends over or so-called friends over the children okay wanting to like not take like i said take resp responsible resp responsibility of being a parent or being an adult um again this chain of events is somebody's not gonna be able to pay their bills somebody could be getting kicked out being um foreclosed not having a home and they have these children involved you know children that's going to be hurt by this uh not just that how are they going to you know pay for any anything okay um what else i heard too was that the cps could be getting involved because these these children could be going to the school and saying what mommy daddy are doing okay what mommy or daddy are doing and i can i'm hearing this parent is saying Please, you know, don't be going to school saying what's going on. Don't be telling people this or don't be telling the other parent this because you're going to, we're going to have child protective services or we're going to have, you know, people looking into this and you could be taken from me. Okay. But honestly, if this mother or father that's out running the streets or whatever, and they're saying that to a child, they're doing something wrong. Okay. They're not, they're not, they're doing something that they shouldn't be doing. Okay. And a child should never have to feel like they cannot express themselves and speak up for themselves and f tell somebody what they're feeling. Okay, and that's what I'm hearing is this parent is saying, don't go to school, don't tell the mom and dad that I'm doing this or I'm doing that. You shouldn't be doing that, okay? That's the thing. We shouldn't be doing that with our children, okay? Our children, we shouldn't we shouldn't have to tell our children not to say something because that's not right for them, okay? That's showing them that they, they don't their voice isn't isn't needed and their voice is needed. And so I am hearing that this kid, um, this children or child could be going to school and you know using their voice, you know, speaking their mind telling a teacher or a counselor or, you know, another friend or a friend's parent, um, what they feel, what they're going through. Okay. Um, and they have a right, you know, the ch children, child, children have a right to speak their, use their voice and express themselves and, you know, not have to hide anything. We, sh we, sh none of us should be going to tell our children, don't be saying that, don't be doing that because that's teaching them to lie. That's teaching them to not, um, it's just start a pattern. It's also starting a negative pattern. Okay. Causing another pattern. We should be teaching our children to speak the truth, okay? No matter what, we should be telling them to speak the truth and not be afraid to use their voice and express themselves and to tell their emotions and stuff instead of repressing them and shutting them down. And that's what I'm hearing is this this parent or a person could be telling them, you know, Shh, shut up, don't say anything, don't talk about it, okay? What goes on in between this house stays on between this house, don't be saying anything. And that that's not right, okay? That's not right. They're, they're children, okay? They should be a child. And... They should be able to live as a child, okay? That's what I'm also hearing too is that these these children, child, child children or even teenagers, whatever, they may not be living, they may not be having a childhood because they are not able to because they're stuck at home. They can't go nowhere because the mom or dad's gone all the time. Something with this parent, whatever, was was struggling, okay? But what was it, what's the word about like, not thinking it, not thinking it clearly, not thinking it through before walking out. Oh my gosh, what's the word? There's a word. Um, I'm hearing irresponsible, okay? Being irresponsible. Okay, yeah, irresponsible. This adult is being irresponsible because not thinking of what the children need and what's best for the children as well. And to be honest, CPS needs to be involved if this, this mom or dad's out doing stuff or not coming home or not feeding them or whatever or hanging out with a lover and stuff. See, I... Family, other family need to be involved or the other parent needs to be involved or CPS needs to be involved because these, these children should be able to feel loved and feel appreciated and feel like they, they deserve love and they, des they, they deserve to have a childhood. They deserve to be in a safe place where they feel comfortable and they're able to be a child. Okay. So I do, if, if CPS gets involved in a situation, then that's, you know, or other family members are putting a stop to it. It's these children deserve to have safety. They deserve to have love. They deserve to be, you know, cared for. Okay, the right way, not be neglected, because this is this is a, ne a form of neglect. Okay, emotional ne neglect, spiritual neglect, um, physical. It could be physical neglect too, but you know these children have it, and I can relate to that because that's what I had when I was a child. Okay, I had my mom tell me not to do this, do that. My dad was neglecting me. My mom, and my dad. So I can relate to this, 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 these children. I didn't have a childhood. I was babysitting my kid, my brothers and sisters. I was home, not eight, nine, ten years old, babysitting my little brothers and sisters. Okay, I didn't have that, and. For, I did. I got put in CPS for three to six months. I don't remember. I was I was nine years old. Got put in CPS. You guys, um, got put in foster care. And the foster care I was in was really good foster home. I would have loved to be there. They were really good people. Okay, they were really, really good people. Um, me, and my sister got put in. Cherish, go what? Go to sissy. 
And look at children. She just came in. Go, Sissy. I'm trying to finish this up. Um, me and my sister got put in a, child, a foster home together. Um, they only dealt with teenagers and older. They really dealt with teenagers, but we were the youngest they had. And then my two baby brothers that were six months old and like a year and a half, almost two years old, got put in another foster home that wanted only babies because they were planning on wanting to adopt babies, okay? So we got separated for that time. Um, they, the reason they took babies because they, they did want to adopt children. Cherish! And, um, it didn't happen. We ended up going with my dad and my stepmom. We ended up going with my dad and my stepmom. But, uh, again, you know, so, like, there are good families out there that, you know, there are good child protective service workers out there. And there are good families out there. And really good families that, you know, want to adopt, want to take them in. And these children deserve that. These children deserve to have a family, not just a house a home. A house and a home is different. A house is where you have sh something over you. A home is where something is, you know, stability, structure, and loving and caring, okay? And that's what um, these children need. But whoever this female or this masculine was, like, you have some chain of events that is now making a domino effect, which is not going to go in your favor. Like, you're walking down this path of darkness. You're walking down this path of evil and um, demonic and stuff like that. And you're choosing greed, power over family, love, and faith, and all that stuff. So, again, um, if you haven't done this yet, think it clear, okay? Think it clear before you're walking out because it, it's very irresponsible um, of walking out of a situation, walking out of a career or job when you don't have anything lined up or you don't have anything that you're um, willing to change or, like, having them in process, okay? So be careful with that situation because um, you could be struggling. You could be struggling even more with that situation. Yeah, look, I said dating, okay? Choosing the lover over the family, the job, and stuff like that, okay? Dating um, here, okay? This person's choosing to date instead of be with their family, instead of getting out and doing that. So, okay, what's going on here? Somebody may feel like they're underwater, going under. See, everything's going under. Someone could lose a car to a home. They have accomplished a partner in crime. See? partner in crime somebody could be off the meds too and that could be why they did this too they were off the meds or they were mixing meds with something and that's why they were irresponsible and they you know decided just to walk out of a situation they're causing a new karmic cycle that's what's happening they're causing a new karmic cycle causing problems for themselves and then for their children Okay, what's going on here? What's going on? Let's pick up more messages. This ain't gonna be long, you guys. Thank you. Water supply. Okay, well, something about water coming out. Water. Let's see. Fired. Okay, I said somebody walked to the job, quit the job, but somebody could have got fired too. Okay, if somebody got fired, it's because they were talking back to their supervisor or their boss, okay, or they weren't doing what they're supposed to be doing. I did see the thief card, but I didn't take it. Somebody could have been um, stealing, okay. Again, this this getting fired is causing a chain of events, okay. Somebody was messing around at their job, not doing what they're supposed to be doing, not listening, not following the rules, not following um, policy and procedure, okay. And again, I said, like, look at now it's going to cause an effect on their family, cause trouble, struggles with their family. Assassination coming to an end. Somebody wants to take somebody out. I don't know where that came out, but it did. It could be the devil, too. So if you don't walk out of a job or quit your job, you got fired. This is Satan um, causing you to get fired, okay? Causing problems in your life. Making you act irrational, irresponsible. That's what the word was earlier, irrational. Somebody was acting rational, okay? Not thinking clearly, not thinking it through. They just did didn't think about the consequences afterwards some kind of cover-up it was their ego okay ego if you don't know the story about Hera Hera was um Zeus's wife and she was could be revengeful and hurtful towards the people that Zeus was cheating on her with with the other goddesses and the other humans um she was very loving and caring goddess mother towards others but when it was Zeus cheating on her she literally was revengeful okay she was in her ego Okay, she hurt people. She hurt the woman, hurt the people that Zeus was sleeping with. Zeus was having relations with. 
relationships with. Yes. Okay, whatever it is, yes, the Sandy Beach as well. This could be a female, okay? Female, which I think I said Hera. So that could be why, too, if somebody got fired or quit, um, this female could be very jealous, envy, um, resentful, and has to always be around the lover. Always has to be around the partner, okay? And is choosing the partner. Or the masculine is choosing the female, okay? Over the situation. Oh, wow, yeah, see, male and female. The two partners, okay? They're choosing each other. They're choosing the life, straight life. They're choosing, um, you know, power, greed, fast life instead of family. Corruption. Somebody's wearing a mask, too. Somebody may feel like they left their job for corruption, like it was corrupted, but I'm just hearing it was irresponsible and um, irrational. Cult. Somebody could be part of a cult. It's called uh, corruption. So we have some kind of energy, different energy coming out here. What else there? What's going on here? Abuse, neglect. They could have felt like they're in neglect. And it says liar. Somebody could have been lying about a situation too. Why they quit. Why they walked out. Okay. Or why they got fired. So somebody could be, um, somebody's going to try to get on welfare too. But again, like I said, there could be abuse, neglect. That's why CPS is getting involved. Child Protective Services. Okay because of this and look at when i look at this like i said it looks like this person being sewn shut like i said this this mother this father whoever this parent is is telling their children to be quiet shut up don't say nothing like sewing their mouth shut okay like look at that make them so they cannot talk speak up Whoever this person is really needs to get their, their 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 shit together, okay? Whoever this person is needs to get their shit together to get their life together. Um, the priorities straight. The responsibilities. They're not 15, they're not 18, they're not 20 anymore, okay? They're they're like I said in the in the walking channel message I said between 20 and 40. Desert and sad. So maybe sad emotional about this. And there's parental figure, okay? Again, this is causing new um, cycles, okay? Could be running away from the problems, okay? Is walking out, okay? If somebody walked out of a job and they didn't like something or they quit or they got fired, they're running away from their problems, okay? They don't want to own up to something. Somebody could got talked to, okay? Could have been like, had some kind of meeting and stuff and said, hey, you're doing this wrong or you're doing, not doing this right. Had some kind of criticism and this person didn't like it. And so they got up and walked out of the job, okay? And they ran away from the situation instead of dealing with their situation. Um, they, they're running away from the problems, okay? Somebody's trying to run away from all these problems. They could have got fired for treason. And it's about money. See, now they're having money problems. Okay, if somebody got fired, it could have been like they could have been stealing money. Somebody may need to move in with a neighbor or somebody else. Or ask for somewhere. Somebody may be looking for a place to live now because of this. Okay, I'm also hearing blowing away money. Okay, somebody should not be spending money. Okay, especially if you decide to get, if you got fired, you walked out. Don't blow away your money. You need to hold on to this money it's, um, for a while because you've been struggling and you're going to struggle some more. It may take a while to get a job. Somebody could have been bribed. Bribing somebody. I don't know, it's an inside job. This could have been people coming against you too at your job and you didn't like that. That could be why. Yeah, see, making excuses. That's why this card came out with sticking. Making excuses. Okay, somebody's making excuses why they walked out, why they quit, or why they got fired. Somebody's really irrational, okay? Irrational. Lies. Lies, lies, lies. They're telling lies. Brainwashed. Felt brainwashed. Irrational. Irresponsible. This could be a distant relative of yours. This could be your own energy, too. Again, remember, take what resonates. Leave what does not for somebody else. 
They could be silent treatment. Okay, this person may not even went back got a, their check. Okay, may get shipped or mailed to them. Like cut them off, kicked out. See, kick. Okay, so kicked out, walked out. Okay, they could be getting kicked out as well. Somebody may owe child support too. They may have child support. And look at CPS. Child protective service. Okay, now they're gonna be able to pay child support anymore. They were. Or they, oh, I'm, I'm just hearing they, they're like, oh, well, I'm going to be able to survive off this because I'm getting child support. That's how I'm going to make my living is getting child support. Mercury. We're going to Mercury Retrograde tomorrow, guys. Today's March 31st. Tomorrow's April 1st. Tomorrow's Merc Mercury Retrograde. Okay, so so don't sign any contracts. Things are going to like go backwards a little bit. Um, It's going to be less people from your past going to come back in. It's lessons to lessons to see if you learned from before, okay? So what during Mercury Retrograde is the last three weeks, and things are going to be repeated, okay? People from your past. um. Things are going to be slower, travel slow. Like when you travel, make sure you give you enough stuff, time, technology may act up. It is because of the fact that we're here to um, take a break. We need to take a break, pause, and see if we learn from our lessons from before, okay? And everything you've done, it may feel like you went 10 steps backwards. But again, some people can overcome the Mercury Retrograde. Mercury Retrograde used to be really hard for me, and now it's been a little bit easier for me. I just believe that it's going to be easier for me, and then I just got to take it slower. Some about government manslaughter, but put that back. It could be a friend of yours. Government could be, like I said, welfare. Could get involved. CPS is part of the government, I think, isn't it? Somebody could be an evil witch, dark witch, okay? Or war sorcerer, warlock. Okay, we have Bully coming out too. I'm not going to take my Bully. I said this could be somebody a drug user. Wow, I will be a stack drug user. Stole money. I said a spiritual burp. Spiritual burp means that you're releasing something, okay? They're not bad. If people tell you spiritual bur burps are bad, they're not, okay? I just burped up like spiritual, uh, like it like, tastes like sage. That's actually releasing from your sacral chakra, okay? What's happening is it's um, releasing energy that does not need to be inside anymore. So with that spiritual burp, it was releasing something that needed to come out, okay? They're not bad. They're not, they're not demonic, okay? It's clearing your chakras. That's what it is doing. Oh, so clearing your chakras, aligning with your chakras. Look at that. This deck, I absolutely love this deck. It's from my soul sister Angie, and I absolutely love it, okay? I absolutely love it. And I just said that, clearing your chakras and aligning with your chakras. That's why you're getting the spiritual burps, okay? You know that you're healing, clearing. Q. Somebody's initial be Q. Always drunk. So somebody could have always been drunk. They could have been using drugs at work or always drunk at work, and then, like, the boss just like, I, I had enough, you're done. Or this other person, like I said, they just walked out. Don't trust them because they're lying all the time. D, initial D. Money troubles. I fell out too, money troubles. And then this came out too. I didn't know if I want to take it, but Spirit told me to take it. Not, not long to live in this realm. Okay, somebody could be getting sick. Okay, something could happen to them. But yeah, see, gonna call, this chain of events is going to cause money problems, money troubles. How are they going to get their drugs? How are they going to get around? How are they going to support their family? Okay, let's get a couple more. Somebody could have been getting paid good money, too. This could have been a good job, too. Okay, this could have been a good job, getting paid good money. Let me a couple more. Thank you. Toxic. Look at that. Toxic. I saw a false friend. It didn't come out, but I saw a false friend. Okay, thank you. Lost cause, one hundred percent. This is a lost cause. This, this is like I said. This is a going to turn in a bad situation. Start with someone new. Someone started with somebody new. Okay, this could have been some start with somebody new. They chose a relationship over their family, their job, their career. False twin flame. Look at kids in trouble. In their head. Look at kids in trouble. That came out like it. And look at sacrifice. These kids are in trouble. Bad intent. 
change jobs. See, I've talked about many times about changing a job if you're not really happy and you're not following your path. This isn't this one. This is just somebody, like I said, irrational, irresponsible, and um, got fired, got terminated, whatever, quit, and walked out. And now there's this domino effect, chain of events that's not going the way. You know, the actions that lead into bad consequences is what I'm hearing. Negative consequences. Um, I'm going to grab what I'm going to grab to close this out. Somebody may have left their stuff there too. The judge. They're being judged. They felt like they had, I feel like they had like, this person also felt like they had power authority and like that they were the judge. They were the superior. They were the ones that were like supposed to be doing what they're supposed to be doing. Apocalypse is ending. Coming to an end. The temple. Somebody needs to find peace, okay? Find peace. Take care of their mind, body, and soul. They were about, my dad texted me, they were going to Sturtville, and that was like 110, 115, whatever. So then it's Sturtville in here. Mentor. Okay, you could be a mentor, somebody's a mentor. This person could have been a mentor too, and like, they went down like, like they went down the wrong path, the thread, like, yeah, they, they did not think. They were not thinking before doing this, okay? They, they just did this, like, acted out. But you could be a great mentor too threshold thread they're gonna be like on little thin thread like pulling by little here the hunter so we could be a hunter as well i don't know if those are the right cards i feel like those aren't the right cards i used just now okay if this person had money before they're gonna have no money they're gonna be in poverty Get a bit they say house may need to reach out to some kind of community. Poverty. Someone could be going to jail. Or this could be an official person like a boss, a leader of authority. Immature woman. Okay, this was an immature woman going down to a dark path. Choosing the wrong path, okay? Dark path. I, I just keep hearing he's going to lose everything. If she's already lost everything, if she or he has already lost a lot, they're going to lose even more because what what choices they've made, okay? The choices that they've made. Close this out. Triumph of lies. They've been lying about the situation. This person's been lying about the situation. Somebody's been crying as well. They're going to be, I'm here. they're going to be crying, okay? Because they're not going to know what to do. They're not going to know what to do. They're not going to be able to know what to do with the situation. They may be set for a short period of amount of time, but then in weeks, they're going to have nothing. They're going to have to figure something out. Fate. See, they, they cause this on themselves, okay? As I said, this is a chain of events. This is their fate. And they're going down a dark path, dark journey. They chose something over their family, providing... The darkness, they chose devil, demonic stuff over their family, over God, over faith, over love, earth energy. Somebody needs to get grounded. Somebody needs to um, ground themselves, find themselves. Earth could also be Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. This could be like an earthquake too. Okay, this could be like an earthquake, like someone's life just falling apart. Things falling apart. This is a tower moment. This person is going to end up having a tower moment after tower moment after tower moment because of what they've done. Okay. Last part. Oh. Guys, I didn't pull names today. I just... I know the names take a little longer. Okay. See, somebody's not wanting to step up and lean. I'm taking this inverted. Somebody is wanting to just, you know, be a follower. 
Okay, they're not wanting to be a leader. They're they're wanting to be a follower, or they didn't want to listen to their leader, their manager, their boss. Okay, and again, it's new moon and Capricorn, so we have Capricorn coming out here. Or you could start saying you, it's time for you to step up and lead. Okay, don't listen to outsiders. Don't listen to people. You don't need validation from others. Follow your intuition. What you what's telling you. This person didn't follow the intuition either. Okay, they weren't following their intuition. Okay, they this was just boom like that. Like, um, how can I explain it? Um, uh, back in the day, I was twenty right before I got pregnant with Carmelita. I was working a really good job, working in this college fulfillment place with mental health people, clients too. And yes, I was using. I got in heavy methamphetamines for a short period of time, and this sounds like a situation that I went through. Um, me and a person were talking, whatever, and then I got pulled into a room, and they were talking to me about a person. The boss was talking to me about another person. And not, nobody knows this either. This is the first time I really talked about this story. Um, talking to me about this other person. And I really didn't want to talk about it to them. And they're like, well, we need to know what's going on. And it wasn't about drugs either, you guys. Okay? It wasn't about drugs. Um, it was just about something else. And I'm like, I'm not going to... Like, I didn't want to say anything about it. And it really irritated me. And I was coming off drugs. Okay? I was coming off it. I wasn't high that day. But I had, like... I probably did, got high the next the day before coming off it and like they really wanted me to say something about my friend this guy named Tyler okay about the situation and I really didn't want to talk about it and I got up and I walked out okay I was getting paid good money too. I was getting like $13 an hour at that time um I got out and walked out I didn't think it clearly and I just left left the job good job left it um it was an hour drive and to find out that I was actually pregnant okay yes I was I didn't know I was only like probably like two weeks pregnant I just got pregnant right before walking on that job didn't even know okay um, I conceived about that time. That's okay. I conceived about that time. And so, yes, I was still using for a short period of time, you guys. Okay. Cause I didn't know. And I got out, walked out and I didn't think about it. Then like two days later, I'm like, fuck, I had to pay my rent. I'd pay my bills. You know, I had to get my shit together. Um, I applied for another job and I was still using, I was drink. I was drinking as well. You guys, I was drinking. Um, I wasn't 21. I was actually 21. No. Yeah, I was 21. I was 21 because I got pregnant with Carmelita at 21. And I was drinking, you guys, and um, using. And I got another job. Got a job with Rem. And I got the job. And then a week later, I'm like, I missed my, you know, period. And I found I was pregnant. So that's when I quit everything, you guys. I, I quit. When I found I was pregnant, I quit. Not not my job. That's my my dad. Can you answer, Carm? Um, I didn't quit my job. I quit my um, using drugs, okay? So I quit using drugs. And I got my life back together. I got my life back together for nine and a half years. So, but I still remember that day. I didn't like what they want, had to say to me. And they wanted me to say, talk to me. Carmi! Hi, it's kind of my dad. And so, again, I, cheers. Hi, girl, I was irresponsible. And I was 21. That's what I'm saying. Like, somebody's acting like a 21-year-old. Somebody's acting like an 18-year-old, 15-year-old. Okay, not thinking it clearly. And I didn't think it clearly. But yeah, I just quit. I, I quit drugs right away after. 89 urges you to show your partner how much you admire them and rather than just telling them respect your loved person be open and understanding hi cherish i wasn't ignoring you capricorn aries taurus number eight and i don't know where the, oh leo leo i love you guys love peace like you know, i'm safe